Hi everyone, we're Michelle and David and welcome to the Explore Us channel. Hey everyone, David the developer of the Explore Oz Traveller app here. Uh, let's have a quick look right now at a new feature just added recently in 7.2 which is called Dynamic Legend. And basically it's accessible from here within the map layers control. You'll see this new option down here called Dynamic Legend. If we just enable the Dynamic Legend and we close out of there, anywhere we click on the map we'll get given the legend information for what we've just clicked or tapped on. So you can turn this on and off anytime uh, and, and use it. Obviously where I've just clicked here, it is in an ascending order, so it goes from the bottom up. So the lowest level on this particular area is land use state forest and road unsealed track is on top of a state forest. So down here we just have forest shrub, which is what that paler green colour is. And obviously this one here is a state forest colour. You can obviously click on the contour line somewhere and it'll tell you that that's a contour line. And obviously on each of the roads it'll tell you what type of road types they are. So this one here is a road sealed secondary. There's a footpath in there somewhere and we're in a land use residential area. Now this, you can see this little grey line around the outside here, that's the land use residential uh, feature. So anywhere within that grey box you'll get that. Outside here there's no features there, so there's nothing there. Obviously we've got these little footpaths, so you can see there's a footpath there. Uh, if we zoom in you can see that we've clicked on that uh, grey coloured line and we get a footpath and it's near a road uh, sealed residential. We click on the railway, we'll get rail lines, we can click on the water. We can also click on the buildings and get told it's a building. Uh, so have a bit of a play with that. You can click around and look at anything. Not only does this work on the um, uh, EO Topo map, it also works on the streets and paths and to a lesser extent on the satellite map. The data layers between the satellite map is mainly a, an image, so only going to see minor information. But certainly on streets and paths, you can get the same level of sort of information moving from the bottom to the top about what the area type is. Uh, these definitions were obviously made uh, external to, to us and but they'll basically tell you what the information is. So you get a legend on this map and you get your legend available on the topographic map. So if you've had enough and you uh, obviously you can pan the click it, it's, a, it's a single click or tap action so you can pan around without it uh, popping back up again you actually have to click without uh, tap without moving to bring the detail up and you can then uh, once you've had enough or you've seen what you want to see you can close that, di that that little pop up box by clicking on it but if you also have had enough of the legend you can disable it and or turn it off for the moment and then your clicks will just not do anything as what the app used to do in the past Hope you like this 7.2 feature. Keep a lookout for 7.2. It's just been made available in the stores. And hope you like that feature. And we'll catch up with you on the next video.